Hey guys, Ross here. Thanks for joining me for another daily shave. Today's shave is going to feature Zingari Man's The Watchman. I've got the soap loaded up here in my West Coast Shaving Honeycomb Brush with a three band finest knot. And I've got about a day and a half worth of growth. So let's get lathered up and get right into it. So The Watchman is the latest offering from Zingari Man. And this particular offering is in the Sago base, which is the tallow base soap. As many I'm sure are aware, Zingari started out with primarily vegan offerings. And I think with enough clamoring from the masses, came up with the Sego base. And it really has been, in my experience, a top tier performer. I loaded this soap for maybe 20, 25 seconds. And as you can see, it's going on quite thick. So I'm gonna add some water into this. And I have used plenty of soaps in this base from Zingari. And I can tell you that it is definitely the thirstiest soap that I've used but I don't necessarily look at that as a bad thing. Really the more water for me just tells me that the soap is that much more hydrated. And really it does not take that long. As you can see, it's actually starting to get a little bit translucent. So that really doesn't take very long to build at all. Or to dial in, I should say. I'm gonna add just a little bit more in here. Again, this base can certainly take it. and it will also reward you for it. All right, looks good there. My razor for today is going to be my uh, Paradigm single edge razor. This actually has a Feather Pro and this is gonna be its ninth shave on it. These blades really last quite a while for me. So um, I really don't have any concerns um, even though it's got eight shaves on it. So let's, uh, let's give this a go and get into the scent. So as you can see from the label, the Watchman, it is described as stormy air and dark seas. And I would say basically in its simplest description, that is spot on. This does fall into the aquatic category in terms of scent profiles. But what I will say about this is that it's not your typical bright, clean aquatic scent that many are used to. This has a darker element to it, but still maintains that aquatic vibe that anyone would be used to if you're familiar with aquatic scents. One other important note in terms of the scent is that um, this was 
sort of a tag team effort in that Sean from Chatillon Lux actually came up with this scent. I tend to trust many of the offerings from Chatillon Lux. I find them to be really, really wonderful scents. And this one is really no exception. I pick up an ever so slight brininess to it, sort of that, that saltiness, but it's very, very, very trace amounts. And it also has sort of a, a crispness to it, which I would associate with the with the air in the environment along with the stormy seas. It really is a fantastic scent. I quite enjoy it. All right. That was a nice, easy, comfortable first pass. Get some water on my face. The scent strength, I will say, is definitely one of the lighter strength soaps that I've smelled in some time. But I also know that that is intentional as Zingari really aims to focus more on overall skincare and not necessarily just shaving. I know that she also offers beard products and lotions and things of that nature. And really the lighter scent strength is to hopefully prevent any irritation from the fragrance itself. So I certainly understand why the scent strength is lower. I usually enjoy stronger scented soaps, but that is just a personal preference. I think bolder scent strengths, stronger scent strengths tend to, um, I just tend to gravitate towards them a little bit more. I think I enjoy sometimes when, when artisans really go out on a limb and, and take a risk with the strength of the soap in terms of the scent. But again, it, it really, in terms of this scent, it doesn't take away from it at all. It's a very, very pleasant scent. I would even go so far as to say if you're not a fan of aquatic scents, typically, that this take is unique enough to where I think it would still be worth a shot to, to, to try it out. The Sago base is absolutely elite in terms of performance for me. As you can see, the razor is just gliding 
The slickness is outstanding. Even the residual, as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of buffing here. There's still plenty of slickness if you need to clean up some areas. It's a very dense lather. And I just, I have no fear of my razor skipping it all or having any issues whatsoever. I do think this blade might be on its last legs. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, this has uh, been a really wonderful shave. Feel around here. Wow, yep. I am good to go. So let's rinse off and get to the post shave. The post shape on the Sago base alone, if you really wanted to, you could forego an aftershave product. It really, really is an outstanding post shape feel. Um, my face feels smooth, soft, supple for hours afterwards, but I, I enjoy Zingari Man's post shave products, so I will be using them. And for starters, I'll be using the unscented recovery splash. This is alcohol free, so maintaining the focus on skincare and I'll throw a little bit of that on there. There is an available matching splash. I usually tend to gravitate towards the alcohol splashes. I do enjoy a little bit of that sting. It kind of lets me know that, you know, that I'm alive. And uh, I really don't mind it all that much. And now that it's getting cooler, I will be using a little bit more balm. So I actually do have the matching Watchman balm. This will be the first time that I use this. So I'm just gonna go one pump here. Got a little bit there. That's probably even more than what I need. Temperatures are starting to cool down here on the East Coast. So oh yeah. Scent still very light, very subtle, but present. And with this balm, I know that. I'll be feeling great the rest of the day through the night. Drama free shave, very comfortable and smooth and I really enjoyed it. Well, that's it for me guys. I hope you all enjoyed the shave. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a line below and I'll do my best to get back to you. See ya.